Hello, my name is Elise and I'm a children's librarian at the Acton Memorial Library in Acton, Massachusetts. I also work in Needham and Wayland. I'm here today to do a family activity craft connected to the summer reading program, Imagine Your Story. We've been reading books and doing activities about fairy tales and fantasy and magic. And today our craft is the Royal Family and Paper. And I'm going to show you three different uh, projects that you can make that are similar and then I'll get into the details of each one. So, the first one is just a king and queen made out of paper toilet rolls and you could also make them bigger using a paper towel instead of a toilet paper roll. I also made a king and queen out of shapes and this is it and I'll be talking much more about this one and I also made a princess or queen out of paper doilies so I'm going to start with the one I just showed you the paper shapes this project was inspired by this book and the sequel which is actually more like a prequel and these are The Tiny King and the Big Princess by Taro Maiura, who is a Japanese author and illustrator. These were published by Candlewick Press in Massachusetts. And I want to show you um, the artwork that this author, illustrator did. Everything he does is made out of, in this book, is made out of geometric shapes. You have rectangles, circles, uh, triangles, and also semicircles. And I was inspired by this artwork, and I want to show you some of the images that inspired me. Okay. Um, first, I want to show you the main character. Here he is. This is a tiny king. He really is very tiny, and but he lives in a very big castle that is also made out of rectangular shapes. He has an army and they are made out of playing cards and again, rectangular or geometric shapes. And he meets a big princess and here she is and here he, they are at the end of the story. The, here is the king, the tiny king, and his big princess in bed with the ten children that they eventually have. So this book inspired lots of artwork for me. A few weeks ago, I made castles, and we did a castle made out of geometric shapes, just like in the book. When I was doing the castles, I also made a different style, but the inside or interior of this one is also based on Taro Maiori's work. We have the king and the queen and their children in bed. And so today I'm showing you the king and the queen, but I also made a knight and as you can see, his head or his hat is a tall rectangle. His hat face is a semicircle. He has circles. And the playing card is made out of rectangles. His axe is one very long rectangle. His hand is a circle. And then I made the tiny king, who's not as tiny as he is in the book, because I wanted you to see him. So rectangles, squares, circles, and triangles in his crown, and a semicircle. And the princess or queen is very big, so I made a triangle and a rectangle for her dress. And the little triangle up there, her hair is made of tiny semicircles and so on, just the way her mouth is. Her puff sleeves are made of circles. So the materials that you'll need for this craft are construction paper for you to glue your shapes on. You, 
It's helpful to have scraps of paper for your child to cut, or you can, you and your child can cut them beforehand. So I would just cut up triangles and then they can put their craft together. I also cut up squares and rectangles out of different shapes. I always have these available. I do a lot of crafts, so I have circles ready that have been punched out. But for this project, I also created my own circles. I found the size and, um, of circles I wanted, and I trace these onto paper. And then just by folding them in half and trimming it, I have semi-circles. So it's very easy to do this craft. I used a glue stick and scissors. You can use markers if you'd like. I also used scrap of paper just because it's fun sometimes to add pattern. And I had small pieces that I could use. And I also used a silver paper for the crowns. Now I had some heavy silver, but you could also use silver foil. And if it's too flimsy and tears, what you should do is simply fold it. And then it is much sturdier and will hold its shape. So that is very easy. Now, you might also use stickers. If you have office supplies and stickers in your house, these are another fun way. You can cut them in half for the smile and so on. Now, the next craft I wanna show you is this one, the doilies, which is also really a shape uh, project. Uh, last week we did crowns and I made several different kinds of crowns and one of them was made with a piece of cardboard and then a doily that I painted and folded over and we pasted pom-poms. So when I did that project, I painted my doilies and I folded them so I used a metallic paint or a sparkly paint. And before beginning the project, I just painted a lot of doilies. And I had leftover doilies. So when I began this project, I just went to my leftover doilies. These were the two sizes I used. Here was the larger one, and here is the smaller one. And I knew that I could make a princess the same way I did on the previous project. Her skirt is one big doily and you could layer them to give it more oomph. I cut out a Q because in the book the characters wear their king or queen on their clothes. Her top is a semicircle. I could have made it more triangular. Her hands are circles, puff sleeves, and I use the edge of the doily here for her hair, which I thought was a nice touch. I had put on the silver crown out of the silver paper, but then I added a gold doily and for more jewel-like uh, feeling. I also used some of those stickers to look like gems. You could add cut paper, or anything to embellish your crown. So this was fun to do with doilies. There were two parts where I colored the doily, or you can color it after you've already pasted it on. But I thought this was a fun addition to making that craft. Now the next one I did were three-dimensional ones, and you, these are toilet paper rolls. If I had wanted my king and queen to be bigger, I could have used paper towels. And I used very similar methods, circles and semicircles, the hair on both the king and his beard and on the queen was made of a rectangular piece of paper. And then using the scissors, I cut hair, I glued it around 
my paper towel, and then left space for the face. And for the clothes on my king and queen, I just used the scrapbook paper, which added some decoration to these. You could make the entire family and an army and have a lot of fun. Um, so I hope you enjoy these very simple cut paper crafts. Using geometric shapes is fantastic. It helps children understand what squares, rectangles, and circles, and triangles are. It also helps them understand how using them you can create all kinds of images. This book is inspiring in terms of how the author use geometric shapes to create very fun artwork. I hope you enjoyed this craft and hope you can look for his books and thank you. Have a great time with this. Bye!